See that? That's the kind of mistake that professionals make. Blue collar people. Hey, I, I'm getting fuel. I run into the store. The wife calls. The child calls. Work calls. The bank calls. On the way back out, I jump in that truck. I forget that fuel line's connected. And I put her in gear and haul ass. Those are the mistakes that the people that are trying to fucking do something make. We call those errors, right? Hey, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to get down the road. I'm trying to make it to the recovery meeting. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I'll be fucking damned, right? If I was using that mud flap app and I left that hose in that tank and I hauled ass. Glory to God, right? Tires blow on trucks. People get sick. People make mistakes. But the overwhelming evidence is in the blue collar working class America is that I get up, I put my fucking shoes on, I stuff my feelings down because fuck your feelings and I go to work and I perform. You can measure, right, my day, hallelujah. But the one thing I cannot come to grip with is the elitist mental attitude that we are not sovereign enough, we're not educated enough, we're not sophisticated enough to govern ourselves. Get fucked. Yes, we are. See, we make mistakes like that. But you make dedicated decisions like this. We're going to allow the United States taxpayers' weapons to be used, long-range weapons, against a major fucking powerhouse of a country over someplace called Ukraine where there's a lot of skepticism and a lot of proof that it is just a cesspool of evil. Right? Bio labs corruption, theft, all the things that do not line with the American people's hearts and principle. But you want to allow them people the decision to strike inside Russia. And I strongly disagree with that. Because that ain't like that fuel hose, man. We'll get a truck out here. We'll put something on that, straighten that up, weld a couple spots, get us a new pump, and we'll be back in action. We'll be pumping diesel tomorrow. But what you're proposing is the sovereignty lies of putting our young men and children, our daughters, in fucking warfare over a country we do not give a fuck about. Not one fuck's given. And you decided at the end of your presidency to show the world just how fucking stupid you really are and what your motives are. And that is personal gain for all the weapon contractors, all the people involved in the defense industry, all the people that are paying for your fucking re-election fees that are fucking part of the missile building program that now thinks it's a fucking sound idea to give a fucking decrupt nation of people the ability to strike a superpower. You're a fucking dumbass. All right? You're evil. For sure. Good morning. Uh, you think they give a fuck about that? That dude's all sheetrock. Huh? They're raising children, trying to go race on the weekends. Go to the fucking buffet and you're over there fucking making a big sound proposal that now you've given a fucking third world country the ability to strike a superpower with missiles with my and that guy's fucking name on it and our children's name. You can get tragically fucked, right? Off a cliff. <laughs> And then you have the Republicans and Democrats unsupport of Matt Gates. And the reason why they do not want to support Matt Gates is, is Matt Gates has made it clear that if you're into stock trading and you want to be a senator or a congressman, you got to choose. You can either fucking quit stock trading or you can be a congressman or a senator, but you can't do both. And if you do, we're going to bust your ass because it's against the law. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. And then you got the senators from Arkansas all over that did not want to elect the senator majority leader that the people wanted. And guess what, guys? You need to be looking for fucking work because I'm going to run my fucking mouth all over this nation about y'all's fucking decrepit bullshit. Cotton and Boozman, everybody else. And I don't give a fuck if you ever give me a pardon or not. I don't give 10 bucks, right? Because what I give a fuck about is my child, my daughter, my mom my community, my best friends, their children, what the church is doing, and, 
<laughs> Don't even start on that church peaceful shit with me. It ain't worked in a, it ain't worked in 60 years. How's it working now? It ain't. You are gonna have to fucking man up and put chest to put, get you a Jesus Christ motherfucking symbol on your chest and a sword and get out here and be rowdy rowdy and tell people, hey, this is the line. And if you cross that line, guess what? You're gonna meet Jesus. Hallelujah. Because that's what it means to be a man. All this fucking bullshit you men are listening to about your feelings, it's okay to cry, blah, 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 blah. It's meant to do one thing, weaken who the fuck you are, who you was created to be, right? When my dad looked at me and he said this, he said, they will know me as great because what you will be doing in your life. I didn't own up till I was 47. But on the day that I understood that my dad lives on because of my greatness and what I'm doing and what I'm putting put in the world, hallelujah, Paul L. Davis is alive. And such be it with Jesus and such be it with this nation that I am fucking fed up with this soft mentality that someone's going to fix it. No, motherfucker, you're going to fix it with me. By declaring and living a life of virtue and a fucking man with a set of nuts. Let's fucking go. Fluid English.